Hi everyone, this is Jen with Art by Marlene. I completed my first Art by Marlene journal, which is the A5 spiral bound journal. So I wanted to do a little flip, flip, flip through for you. <laughs> Apparently I have a terrible time with that. So here it is. So this is the first page and this was done in class actually at Scrapbook Central in Montreal. This one also was done at Scrapbook Central in Montreal. And this one was after coming back from Scrapbook Central. I loved these trees, so I wanted a page with trees as well. And then here's the llama with the unicorn and the bunny and the dachshund. And I love to stack them. And then we have the two llamas going for a ride in the taxi. Another fun page that I love doing. This was uh, one of my trips to Mexico. I did this uh, poolside and um, he's just enjoying riding the, ta uh, riding the um, ah, seahorses as if uh, he was on a jet ski. And then this one, she is enjoying visiting Mexico and sun tanning and sightseeing and then we have this one that was for it happened to be my birthday while we were there so that one was a birthday one and then there's so many beautiful flowers in mexico that i did a page about that so we then moved on to occidental ishkaret maybe not my favorite page but um nevertheless it's a page i did and then this is Another page I did, which I absolutely love, this particular collage paper by Art by Marlene. And then here is another one. And again, we have the llama and the dachshund and the tree stencil, which I'm kind of a little obsessed with. And of course, it was snowing that day when I did this one. This is Christmas in Mexico. Uh, they set up a tree full of poinsettias, and I did that uh, just to represent what I had seen. This is just some houses stacked. I went with the larger house that I had got the stamp of, and then these are the set of four beach houses that I also added. Then here's a sheet of Marlene's fantastic collage paper, which I just... Um, chopped up and reassembled as I would do it with a bit of washi tape and a bit of embellishing. And then this one, I absolutely love this little girl. And I also love this little fair flower fairy. And these little guys are that small because I took them off of the actual page, cover page of the die cut books. I never throw them out, I always keep them. And I always cut little bits and pieces out to do just that with. And then here's one all with hearts because it was around Valentine's. And I decided I had so many hearts that I had been keeping that I would do a heart page. And then this is another uh, water page. And uh, very relaxing. All about the ocean. I would love to one day be snorkeling and actually see a real seahorse. So far I haven't. Um, and of course I'd love to see a mermaid, but don't think that's gonna happen except for in my dreams. Then here is a page that was done with all the leftover dots that I had. I took them all and used them with a piece of collage paper and just had fun building that page. And then, uh, guess what? The tree stencil again. And I just used these funny little people that had been in one of the die cut books. And I just altered them a little bit. And um, it's basically it's tears of joy because uh, she has her kids, grandkids visiting her. This is another very relaxing zen sort of sea moment. Um, and this is that fabulous stencil, which I believe is called Ocean Window. This is from Marlene's new collection, Collection 5. 
And this is just a silly fun one uh, that I threw together. And this woman here represents sort of how I am in the morning when I need my coffee. Um, I can be a little bit grumpy, but hey, I guess that happens to everybody. And then this one here um, was done a while ago and it was again a matter of I had all these little stars and I thought, hmm, what can I do with them? And this background is done with watercolor and while it's still wet, um, throwing, uh, dabbing, not dabbing, dropping, I guess you'd say, alcohol on it and it makes all those nice markings. And then of course I always bling and embellish. And then here is my second to last page, which I super, super love this um, particular piece of rice paper. And I wanted to be able to do a page in this book, so I took it all apart and put it all back together a little bit differently in this book. And then I also have a bow from another piece of collage paper that I added on to the octopus to make her look a little cuter. Uh, more girly, I guess. And then here's the last page, which I just did, which um, was also quite a bit of fun to do. It's got collage paper and die cuts, and it's got this platinum crackle to it, and I just had fun doing it. And that is the end of that Art by Marlene journal. And now I have the ability to crack open a new one because I'm a little bit OCD and I won't use another one until I finish the one. Now that doesn't mean that I don't have other ones going, it's just they're not uh, the spiral bound ones, they're the ring binder ones. So I hope you enjoyed and I will have something new for you very soon. Take care, bye bye.